We have a couple of series that still have yet to begin in the conference semifinals, but that'll all change on Tuesday night. Cavs in Boston against the Celtics, Mavs and Thunder in OKC. Uh, we got some yakety yak on both series. Donovan is an explosive, strong, three level scorer. You know what I mean? I think his strength gives him a, a, an advantage on a lot of defenders. And he's good at changing directions. He's just, he's just a good basketball player. I feel like there's a a rep about us or whatever, like inconsistent, whatever. Like at the end of the day, you know, we're going to be solid. For us coming into Boston, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody thinks they're going to come in and kick our ass. So for us to continue to stay level-headed throughout and not listen to, well, y'all, we know who we are, a team that, you know, is a contender. Until you can put them into a experience situation, uh, they're going to play basketball. They're going to play the way that they've been playing all season. So. Our job is to try to hopefully uh, put them in a, a, a position that experience does comes into play. Everything for us has been new so far, you know, so we just played our first playoffs, you know, game a, a week and a half ago. We'll learn from the good, learn from the bad, you know, if and when we lose a game, which I'm sure is coming at some point, you know, we'll see how we respond and then we'll learn from that. Which one you want to tackle first, East or West? Um, East. Okay. And tell me what uh, Cleveland's chances are against Boston. Uh, all, all depends on the health of um, Jared Allen. Jared Allen. Um, because, and the health of Porzingis. Because those two guys create the problem. They create the contender. They create the mismatches. They stop the mismatches. Because Porzingis is a very underrated defender at the rim. And we know Jared Allen is a defender at the rim. And always going to be an NBA all defensive player and possible defensive player of the year candidate. So those two guys change the complexion. So whatever to me, whichever the one of those guys become healthy or can make an impact in the series at some point, I think that may be the difference in the series. I'm looking for, you know, before I played the game, I've seen great players have great series. While I played, I've seen great players have great series. Jalen Brunson is having a great series. I need Donovan Mitchell to have a great series. No, no off games. In order for them to have, have a chance, he's the catalyst of, of the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's going to have to play great. Superstars have been asked to do it before. I think he has the ability to do it. He's the best player on the team. And, you know, the others need to, you know, help him, like, you know, Kenny would say. But uh, I'm looking for him to have a, a great series if he wants to be a contender, like he just said. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a great series. Uh, Donovan, like you said, I think we do think they're going to get their ass kicked. I think I we think, as in you. Uh, yeah, I think it's a gentleman sweep. Uh, the only time the Cavs beat them this year is when they were up 20 in the fourth quarter and took the foot off the gas. With no Donovan with Mitchell. No, with, no, with no Donovan Mitchell. The other two times they beat them. So I expect the Celtics. Uh, I, I, do, I do think the injury to Przingis is a problem a little bit going forward. But I think it's going to be a gentleman sweep. Uh, Cavs, by the way, first series win uh, without LeBron. Uh, since 1993 has them in the Eastern Conference semifinals. Meantime, I cannot wait to watch Dallas and OKC. Uh, the talent that you're going to see on the floor in that series. Um, and we didn't really see only one game between the, between the two this year. They played four. Only one game had SGA, Luka, and Kyrie all in it. Dallas won that game, 146-111. Um, what do you see from... The number one seed taking on uh, number five, Dallas. I'm so impressed with OKC. You know, a lot of times when you have young teams, you, you look for them to make mistakes. They haven't really made any mistakes at all. They're playing well. Jalen Williams is my favorite player on the team. You know, Shea, MVP, who I think. But, you know, Jalen Williams and the others for OKC, everyone understands their role. They're together. They play great. This guy right here is playing great. I look for our, our OKC to win this season's series very easily. Really? Yes, very easily. I know, you know, uh, Dallas wow. has two uh, dynamic stores, scorers, but the way this young team is playing, they are so together. I think they're on a mission. And when teams are on a mission, they're very difficult to beat. Do you think this is going to be easy, Chuck? For who? He said it's easy OKC. for OKC. I don't think it's going to be easy. I think it's a six. A, I think OC is going to win. But I think it's a, I think it's a six or a seven game series. 
because I think that Luke and Kyrie are playing at a high level. I think Luca made the adjustment in this game, and he's number one trusting Kyrie and the other guys more. He's making quick, decisive decisions. I told you, the only time he gets in trouble is when he dribbles to death like a baby James Harden, then has to make that hail mary step back three. And it's great when it goes in. When it doesn't go in, the offense looks really, really stagnant. Uh, I think it's going to be a great series. I can't wait for it to start. Uh, but I'm going to go with OKC because I think their bench. Uh, Jalen is Jalen Williams. Uh, uh, from for OKC, he starts. I know. I'm, I'm saying I think people are going to see this guy's one of the best players in the NBA. You know, er, a Chet Holmgren second in Rookie of the Year and SGA get a lot of credit, but Jalen Williams is a monster, man. Uh, I love that kid. I mean, some of his outfits uh, leave a little bit to be to digested, but he is a terrific digested. player. Oh, desired. Desired. Uh, desired. Uh, I mean, un undesirable. <laughs> but I tell you what, <laughs> always listen, thinking about food. It always, yeah. always yeah. comes you know, But I got to give him his flowers, man. He's a terrific player. Oh, burgers. And I think they really uh, he's going gonna to test P.J., uh, it really, him and Gafford, are they going to? Have, he's going to be a handful for those guys. But I got OKC winning in six or seven. I don't think it's definitely not going to be easy. I, I, if there are four claims that are five points or less, I would go with the Mavericks. The dynamic ability of Luca and Kyrie to score the basketball in clutch, clutch moments, and not only get a shot but get a shot they want. I don't know if Oklahoma City has three guy, two guys or three guys that can do that. So, with that being said, I believe it's a seven-game series. I believe that um, Kyrie, I, I, and we've seen Luka be good or great, but we have not seen him out of the stratosphere yeah. over like the Anthony Edwards, which we've seen. And I'm curious, so I'm moving, Dort, I'm leaning. I, I think Lou Dort, Lou Dort is going to wear Luca down. I'm, I'm leaning. He, he's he's yeah. going to be all over Luca. He's going to wear right. him on his shirt like he did Brandon Ingram for seven games. I tell you to me, one you of the, think Luca and Brandon Ingram is the same type of score? No, it's, like, it's, it's going to be easy for him to guard Luca because Luca got him by uh, Luca got he him. Go ahead, time out. You know, there's, there's nobody in the world that would say that it's easy guard. Well, I'm just telling you as a, as a player, uh, Brandon Ingram don't take advantage of his size. If he took advantage of his size, he no, should. No, but we talking about Luca. No, I'm saying he, Luca will not have the size advantage over Lou Dort. He's got that's going to be a great matchup. It ain't going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a great it's matchup. Easy guarding Luca. Uh, no, I'm saying it's, it, it, in my opinion, I, I would rather guard if talk, guarding a guy who's four or five inches taller than me should be harder. But the way Brandon Ingram plays with so much finesse, he didn't take advantage of his size. And and, and also, Luke and Kyrie are gonna have to play real defense this series. On on, on SGA. Real I'm with, defense. And neither. Well, I, I, with that being series. said, I'm gonna go with Dallas and seven. I'm with you. I, well, you know who's gonna be a wild card? Chet Chet Holmgren. Mm -hmm. He's the guy to me. Luke and Kyrie got to play defense. You already talked about how they can't play defense. I'm not saying. Well, they can't go at that board whether they be good playing defense or not. If the games point. are five points or That's less. That's my point. Yeah. I'm going Chet, with Remember, them. Chet Hungry going to have an advantage. Okay. His ability to shoot the three and Jalen Williams, those going to be the difference. Uh, I can't, as I was saying, cannot wait to see that when it starts tomorrow night in OKC. Uh, Chuck and Trey. Chris. I already told you, the St. Louis Cardinals stink. Hey, hey, the St. Louis Cardinals stink. <laughs> hey, come on, I'm telling you. Get out of my ear, too, Keith. The Cardinals stink. Oh, here's the, the cleanup continued in the last commercial break. Did you take that soda off the floor? Man, then he took a soda off the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Dirtyboy.com. And said, oh, look, there's, there's still some in it. There's still some Coke in here. Ernie, can I, Ernie, it, it Ernie, can I ask you a question? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> you have an aspirin, my head is hurting. <laughs>